Hi. Hello. Welcome to Kate and Kajira Gaming. Welcome if you are new. You can call me KK and I am coming to you from the Dreamlight Castle and from their beautiful seasonal tree. So apparently this seasonal tree is something that they started last year and it is a tree inside the Dreamlight Castle that gives you free gifts daily from now until December 31st. Now I say now as in December 19th, but I have not collected my daily present yet and I don't have a present. So who knows when they're actually going to start spawning, but be sure to check out the tree in the Dreamlight Castle. And that brings me to the purpose of today's video. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about all of the festive events that they are running from now until the end of the month, as well as where to get the festive fish. Let's go ahead and see what we've got going on for today. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out our Dreamlight duties that give us our festive items. So you're going to click the Dreamlight tab and go all the way down to Village. Now, some of these I've already done, but the ones that I haven't done, we're going to do together. There are five in total. So one is Ho Ho Ho, one is Even Fish are festive, the other is A Home for the Holidays. And then the other two are do you want to build a snowman and a cookie cake test so these two at the bottom that i've already completed are the easiest ones to do and the do you want to build a snowman you just need to go ahead and go into your crafting table and craft a snowman so when you're ready to craft your snowman you're going to come to your crafting table and they're going to be under furniture so click furniture and you can just scroll on down and build any of them the Haughty Snowman requires 10 Snowball, 1 Crystal, this Crystal you can get in the Vitalis Mine, 2 Fabrics, and 2 Rubies. The Snow Kid requires 8 Snowballs, 1 Carrot, 2 Fabric, and 3 Pebbles. The Snow Lady requires 10 Snowballs, 1 Carrot, 2 Fabrics, or 3 Pebbles. And the Classic Snowman is 10 Snowballs, 1 Carrot, 2 Fabrics, and 3 Pebbles. Now you can go ahead and craft any one of these four and after you craft them, go ahead and place them anywhere in your valley. I ended up for mine crafting all four and made a little snowman family. And here is what the haughty snowman looks like when it is built and placed in your valley. And then there is the snow lady, the classic snowman, and the snow kid in the valley as well. So for completing the Do You Want to Build a Snowman Dream Light Duty, you're going to get these awesome Peppermint Mini Mouse Ears. And these are so cute if you guys look at the up close shot in selfie mode. They are sequined. They are so detailed and just so cute. And they kind of sparkle when the light hits them. And I just love them. They are so cute. Yeah. And then the cookie taste test is eat any three cookies. But each cookie has to be different for the cookie taste test you're just going to cook three different types of cookies and eat all three cookies so let's go ahead i am just inside shea remy if you click on the little dessert option you should have a bunch of different recipes if you have already made them if not i will list some on the screen but you could do the my hero cookie which just requires a wheat butter and any of the sweets you could do the biscuits which requires wheat sugar cane and butter you could also do chocolate chip cookies which requires a cocoa wheat sugar cane and butter or you can do Minnie's gingerbread which I don't actually have but the mini gingerbread cookies require a wheat and a ginger so after you craft any of those three remember it is one of each you just go ahead and eat one of each type of cookie and get your reward. And your reward for completing the cookie taste test are the Mickey version of the peppermint ears. Personally, I like the mini ones better. I just think the bow just adds something a little extra, but these two are also sequined and so, so cute. All right, now let's go ahead. Let's talk about the Ho 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 Dreamlight Duty this one is going to require just a little bit of work and i'll show you guys what i mean so around the valley specifically in the plaza or wherever you have your screwed shop you're going to see 
these little wrapping papers on the ground. It's kind of like our Halloween candy bucket where you just go ahead and you run around and try to pick them up. Um, I haven't collected mine in about two days, so I currently have four in my plaza right now. But I think the daily average is one to two. And yep, so it was just those four, and all four of mine were right in front of Scrooge's shop. I will say, to complete Ho Ho Ho, you do need ten of the wrapping papers but when you have them you want to go ahead and go to your crafting bench and under functional items you're going to see four new gifts pop up you have the shiny gift which requires one wrapping paper one shiny ruby and one shiny emerald the handcrafted gift which is one festive wrapping paper and one holiday feast chair the naughty gift which is a festive wrapping paper and a coal and then the delicious gift which is one hot cocoa one gingerbread cookie and one festive wrapping now you want to gift 10 different villagers presents so you're wanting to collect your 10 uh, wrapping papers and then go ahead craft any of the 10 presents and be sure to gift them to 10 different villagers and for the handcrafted gift with needing the holiday feast chair that is over here in the furniture tab, also in your crafting bench. And if you scroll, it's in here somewhere. Mine is down closer to the bottom, right before the touch of magic furniture item. So it's right here. And the feast chair requires five hardwood and three fabric. Because I haven't played Dreamlight Valley for their first year of the festive quest, I don't have it yet. So the pile of gifts, which is this item right here, is what you will claim when you complete the Ho Ho Ho. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the Dreamlight Quest, Even Fish Are Festive. This one requires a little bit of work. Let's head down to the beach. So to start this one off, I will say that you're going to want to have a fishing buddy with you for that chance of getting the extra fish to spawn. Alright, so I nixed going to the beach because it is currently not raining. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to see if we can find the festive bubbles here in the meadow. There are five different types of fish that we are collecting. We're collecting the bass, the salmon, the angler fish, the fugu, and the squid. The bass is found here in the meadow. And we are looking specifically for the bubbles that are glowing red and green, kind of like these ones right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and fish this up. There's a lot about this valley that reminds me of home. And here we go, here is the festive bass. See if Eric's gonna pull one up for us, and he did. Okay, great. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head down into the Glade of Trust and also look for that red and green bubble. And here is one right by Mother Godel's tree. And in the Glade of Trust, you're going to catch the festive squid. Eric, are you going to be nice and pull one up? Yes, we will. Fantastic. Alright, so our next area to go fishing is going to be the Sunlit Plateau for the festive salmon. And here is my bubble. Now, there is a little bit of confusion on how many times you can actually fish for these fish. I have heard that it is once per day. I've also heard that it is only once ever. So, I just recommend going ahead and checking around every day to see if you can get these festive fish and there was our salmon and now we're gonna go ahead and head to the forgotten lands now the festive angler fish is one kind of like fugu that does require time sensitivity the festive angler fish is only found between 6 p.m. and 9 a.m. your local time so it is only found at night and mine is up here at the very very top of this tiny little pond but there you go, there is the festive angler fish. So it is finally raining in the valley and now we are on Dazzle Beach looking for the mysterious red and green bubbles to try to catch the festive fugu. So 
For those of you that did not see on stream when I decorated this area, you got a first look at what I did for my dream snaps. But so far, I am not. Oh, there it is. There's the bubbles. All right, let's go ahead and fish up our festive fugu. So we have caught all of the festive fish. Now let's go ahead and claim it. And our reward is a Santa hat. Now the last duty is the home for the holidays. And that one just sounds pretty self-explanatory. You just need to decorate a room of your house all festive like using items that are festive themed. You can use your Royal Star Path items from last year or this year, or you can head into your crafting bench and craft the Kinara, the Yule Goat, um, holiday feast plate and cutlery, you can do the holiday feast chair, you can do the holiday tree, which is what you see behind me, and you just need to place five items in your house. Let's go ahead, we're gonna head to my house, and I will show you what you get for completing this one. Now, just for the sake of this video, I just went up to my third floor, which has absolutely nothing on it but this flooring and wallpaper, and I'm going to place down five of the festive chairs. Again, this is just for the easement of the video. I want you guys to go ahead and come on back when I decorate my downstairs for the actual holidays. I'm going to go ahead and put some of these premium shop items in and see if those count. Let's go ahead and check real quick to see if these two items count. So these two items do count. So this is Jack's tree from I think his level 7 quest. And then this little polar bear is something that I got out of the premium shop. So if you guys have those items as well, they also count. The small fancy gift box also counts. I wish there was an option for in the filter for festive or holiday, but all they have is Halloween. So I'm just going and clicking on red and green as my filters, which should help filter out some. And then of course you have the round festive for carpet, which counts. There's also the Christmas town train, if you got that from the star path. Or, I'm sorry, from the premium shop. This is just slightly too big for me to stick in my house. Also, the winter arch. The decorative winter vase from this year's Star Path. You have your holiday feast chair. You have your small round gift box as well. And the menorah rug also counts as a festive item. So there we go. I had five items placed in for a home for the holidays. And you get the winter carpet. Let's go ahead, let's see what this looks like. And there you go. It almost looks like Sven. This is a, I believe, like a frozen themed rug, and it's really pretty. It's pretty coveted in a lot of the dream snaps areas or even in the decorating builds. And after you guys get these items just once, whether through um, the premium shop or star path or completing dreamlight duties they are available in your Scrooge shop for future purchases as well and one final thing before we go dreamlight valley has released yet another one of their gifting codes so we're going to go ahead and put that in and see just what they give us so go ahead and head to your settings menu head over to where it says help and there will be a redemption code and the redemption code for today is SG wrapping paper, all one word, and click claim. Give it a few seconds to appear in your mailbox, and there is a letter that says happy gifting, and they have given you five wrapping paper to start off your gift of giving. Let's go ahead and click claim. And there are three more codes that they have released so far, and as of the filming of this video, which is December 19th, 2023, those codes are still working. They will be linked down below, and I've also done some video shorts on them as well, linked on my channel. If you guys do enjoy Cozy Game content, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and 
be sure to follow me on all social media sites linked down below, which is Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this festive holiday guide, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys!